Hi and welcome to my dev stream. Um, last video I found out that um, there seems to be some some bug with the unit selection um, to demonstrate. I'm not sure yet how exactly or when it happens. I had two tanks, selecting one, selecting the other. And then sometimes uh, suddenly both of the tanks have these have the selection marker, and they can't actually be unselected anymore. Um, okay, it seems to happen when I zoom. Um, the mouse wheel is actually selecting the unit and can can't be deselected anymore except maybe I was wondering if I'm, I'm currently wondering if um, there are just many 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 selection markers spawned on that unit and uh, it would just take a long time to deselect it so many times but this doesn't seem to be it so I'll just try to prevent this in, from happening in the first place. Uh, the mouse wheel shouldn't select units at all. Um, so this happens on ground, I think. Exactly. However, We are not selecting units here. I think this happens on the tank itself. Input event mouse button. And we should probably check for yeah uh, for mouse button index one like let's add this here button index one only then will we do we want to select the unit okay no fuck um happens anyway. Let's try again. I'm just using left, cl left click and right click right now. Okay. Mm. I not sure what's going on here. Um this also happens without mouse wheel. I suspect if the units are really close together I uh, do one click and 
for some reason this uh, single click will trigger on both units if they overlap maybe to tell. Spawn two tanks. Only one is selected. Correctly switch from one to the other. Yeah, I think if if, if the collision shapes are overlapping, it's uh, that's when it happens. So let's look at the code and just to make sure I didn't. Uh, mess up before I want to make sure again that mouse wheel cannot actually select units right click can't either it's really only only the left click okay now I just saw another Another one of these selection markers being added to the unit, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah. Okay. Um what can we do about this? We have this tank mark as selected. Um A selection marker is on the main scene and then it's duplicated it's added to it's added to the unit and um, yeah the problem is We can add multiple of those. And this shouldn't happen, of course. So only if Only if the currently selected unit is not this unit, only then do we want to select it, or only then do we want to mark it. I can still add multiple of these markers and this uh, still happens shit 
This is strange. Nothing happens at all here. So it's actually on mouse click. First, the unit is selected, is marked, then it is selected. So, it is not yet selected here, not self. Uh, so this is uh, added, but then it is selected, and I mean after the after this happens, after this function runs, then it is actually selected, and um, if I click it again, function gets called again, this gets checked again, and it should be false. So. What's going on here? Probably better to just output all of the So, where was I? Um, it's probably a good idea to add all the necessary outputs right away. this and okay uh, let's see what we can learn from this two tanks uh, selected unit now uh, yeah makes sense That unit is null. Well, this is great. Selected unit is always null. This is, uh, of course, wrong. So, this is not working at all. Um, so how are we actually moving? I mean, right click, um, yeah, if selected unit is not equal now, uh, we will actually move. Root main. 
I love this shit. So I can move the unit, it is apparently uh, selected, but this one says, this function thinks uh, it's not selected. Great. Root main selected unit, root main selected unit, I mean, it can't be that hard. Yeah, that's it. Looks good. Why doesn't it work? It's not. Always no. Oh, stupid, 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 stupid. Deselect all units should probably not be called before this. Uh, so I'll select this unit first, um, move this if up here, wrong here, uh, debug stuff. I hope I'm not um, premature with uh, removing all my debug output because I think I just found the error, but let's confirm. Two tanks. Tank, tank, tank. Great, still the same shit. Incredible. I can add multiple markers here. Why? Input event, clicky click. If I'm not selected it, then select. And mark selected. What is this shit? Looks like I need the debug output still. Um going on. Um, deselect all the units is of course A removing <sighs> deselect all units is deselecting all units. Haha. -ha. Um,
Well, Okay, okay, um, problem is this selection and deselection of units actually works, as we can see, uh, confirm with movement, because um, whenever I try to move an uh, a, a unit, it actually moves. Um, however, we should not just add markers uh, if maybe they already exist we should only add markers that on units that al don't already have one yes yes So, only if this unit doesn't have a selection marker on it, only then will we add one. Now, let's see. Tanky tank. One tank, two tanks. Let's try. Okay, great. Now I can select it in this way uh, strange god damn it but at least I can't add multiple markers that's one step in the right direction yeah okay okay this is First problem seems fixed now. Deselect all units if I'm not mistaken. Um, loops all units. Mark as selected falls. So, if this is, if selection marker exists, delete it. So, we already have a unit selected, let's suppose, and I click it again. All units are deselected. Um, and uh, this should happen because deselect all units deselects the unit yeah. um, how about I mean I only need to deselect all units if it's not myself, right? Uh, 
If this unit is already selected, then uh, nothing should happen anyway. Yeah, that's better. Man, the simple, simplest things can get so difficult and confusing sometimes. Okay, this seems to be much more solid now. Damage, 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 damage. one Was there anything else? I'm a little bit unhappy that um, about the fact that uh, my tanks are spawning perfectly inside of each other so if I could um, if I can do something about that uh, to make them snap out right right after spawning if I just give a very very small input to one of the tanks to, to, to the tank that spawned it should this should fix it so this will just be uh, the smallest vector Something really, really, really small. Don't know if this is too much. It's probably too much. Yeah, let's see if this does the trick. Fair enough, and they seem to... Whoa, oh yeah, we still have... <laughs> I still have movement by keys. <laughs> and not a single unit selected. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah.
Um, yeah, it would be great if if I can right click inside another unit to make this unit move here. Doesn't work at the moment because the right click only works on the ground. And same thing with zooming only works if I'm on the ground. If I'm on a unit, it won't work. Two more things to fix. Okay, so this one worked. Very good. Um, so, what can we do about that? Um, it's instead of handling clicks only on the ground, we should also handle them on the tanks and and on every other object on the map, ultimately. So. Input event, input event on the ground. Ground is here in main scene and it's connected event is just input event. Input event. Do we also have this on the tank? Input event on the tank. So, what if? I copy this code. I mean, I could connect. Maybe I could connect uh, the input events on to. On to ground. Does that make sense? Or I could actually make its own function uh, on main script and uh, just have these um, event handlers on different objects that will then call my uh, event processing function on the main script. This way I can always see in code that the event is delegated to main script whereas if I just directly connect the input event from several nodes onto some other node like ground or what have you uh, this would not be visible in code it would only be visible in the editor down here and um, I don't like that very much because if I don't work on this project for some months I'm probably gonna forget forget that and will wonder how the fuck these events are uh, propagated from one object to another so I'm gonna go with option A on main script I'll have something like function handle handle input and which uh, yeah does exactly the same or uh, uh, accept, accepts exactly the same parameters um, let's actually use this line or modify this line to make it fit we need the main node and gonna call 
handle event function on it with all these parameters like this and this why is it red uh -huh. yes and uh, this is ground and we want the same thing to happen I think on tank and we have this input event right here Okay, and I can already see a problem. And the problem is, um, until now we, uh, I knew the context of this click was uh, was ground or was uh, a tank, um, and now we're losing that. So I think. It's probably best to just add the um, clicked object like this as an additional parameter here and so I can check this if no well, if clicked object is What is this? Um, I get an input event. Oh no, oh no. This might not be such a great idea after all. I'm gonna add a game type a game obje object type to these uh, to these scripts to differentiate them so I could actually uh, see here clicked object is, uh, so is this a tank if yes, um, do this. If it's a uh, ground, do something else. Do this below here. This would work. Now, I want to take a moment to think about this. All of this again. Uh, I wanted to do this in the first place because I can see a situation where I'm uh, right clicking <coughs> I have a unit selected already and I'm right clicking onto the ground to make it move there okay this works I have a second scenario I have selected unit and um, I'm right clicking on another unit I still want to fir the first unit to move to the second unit um, so this would mean 
that I would need to do this in multiple places on the ground and on the unit and later on uh, maybe a mountain and other game objects so all of these would have the same piece of code which I don't like I don't like that I mean it's just two lines but you never know it could grow to ten lines and then you'd be in trouble if uh, you ever want to change one of these. You have to think of all the others and change them too. I don't like that. So let's carry on with my idea. I'll add a game object type. If game object type is a unit, we're doing this. If game object type is ground, we're doing this. Okay, now question unit is selected I'm clicking another unit um, so we need another block handling uh, the right click up here and the two lines this is of course not so nice better option would be to just to check the button index first and then decide what to do depending on the game object type of the clicked object um, yeah We actually want to move this line inside here. Inside here. Or, I mean, some things will not even need this, like exactly these, because I want to zoom always, move, I want to move always. <laughs> uh, so the only distinction we need to make is on the left click, so far, the only distinction is on the left click so if it's a unit do all of this um, we have already checked for event pressed we have mouse button event pressed and button one so we don't need this if anymore and we can copy it. cut all of this move all of this in here Wow. And yeah. <laughs> I 
Now let's check. Um, it's an input event mouse button. Event pressed is false because we only want to react when uh, the button is actually released, not when it's pressed down. That would be too early. Would feel wrong. Um, this is some just some output. And then we have all of these different. Um, mouse buttons, left click, right click, zoom out, zoom in. I wanna reorder this. Huh, what did I do now? Something strange. I wanna Ah, damn it. Okay. Put the buttons in order. Button 4, button 5. Zoom in, zoom out. Makes more sense. This in this order. Okay, so um, button click, click left. If the clicked object is a unit, select it. If it's not it, select it, select it. Uh, if it's n if it is all uh, selected, do nothing. If the clicked object tab is ground, deselect all units. And later we will have um, probably something like uh, obstacle. Uh, yeah. So for the moment. I need to add this variable to my to my objects. Ground is ground uh, and the tank is a unit. By the way, in one of the next videos I'm gonna refactor the um, tank script here. It will probably be renamed unit script and it will only have um, uh, functions functionality that is common to all units and then I want to make um, subclasses of that unit so um, other units uh, will inherit that script uh, so we can have multiple unit types that all uh, have the same basic behavior and um, with some added special depending on their uh, on, on the specific unit type and their weapons So, let's see if this works so far. Oh, I forgot quite a few things. I should pass, uh, should pass the, the clicked object itself here and here. Uh. <coughs> and yeah, zoom speed. Uh, so this is not actually needed here anymore. Moving it to main script. In time this will be a collection of random variables here on the main script that uh, are global to the whole game. 
and all these uh, these uh, instances of self should actually be the clicked object. Okay. Oh, just uh, noticed an error here. Okay. Oh no. I missed one. Selected. Mark seems to be an object. What now? Click the object. Oh, oh, oh. I just blindly <laughs> selected this true because it uh, uh, read keyword of four letters and I just thought uh, it's another instance of self. So, no, no, it isn't. So this needs to be true. Okay, that's better. Move, 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 move here. Great, move into this unit. <laughs> move here, select, deselect, select, deselect, select. Yeah, great. And zooming on the objects, on the tanks, works. Very good. Okay. Yeah, so that's that uh, session of some bug fixing. Uh, yeah, hope that's all for the moment and we can continue with some features in the next video. Thanks for watching.